So now that we've learned how to use the table for answering the question, what number or what percent of people scored above an 85, let's see if we can ask some more complicated questions. Um, I've kind of set up our picture here with our uh, speed on the freeway. And let's say that we want to remind ourselves that the calculus majors have told us that there's 34% roughly between here and here, 14, 2, and then this is 34, 14. Oh my goodness, 14, there we go, two. So let's see if we could ask a different question. Maybe my question is, what percent of speeders drive between 70 and 80 miles per hour? Let's say that the insurance is going to give you a break. If you go this and we want another likelihood, you're going to get an insurance break, whatever the story might be. So now I have two numbers. So remember that my steps are to draw it, calculate our z-scores, and then look it up. So the first thing I need to do then is to draw this appropriately. So I'm going to find that right here is my mark for 70, and right here is my mark for 80. And the question is, what percent of people are going to be in between? So I know, just given the calculus majors, that 65 to 85 is 68% of people, right? 34 and 34. So I know the answer has to be under 68%. That's all I can really glean. But it's always good to kind of orient yourself. So now I have to calculate my z-score. So which number do I calculate the z-score for? The z 70 or the 80? And actually the answer is both. So if you're not sure what to do, just calculate z-scores till you're done, and then you'll kind of see where to go next. So if I'm going to calculate the z-score for the 70, we're going to take that 70, minus the mean, which is 75, divided by the 10. That's going to be a negative 5 divided by 10. So you can't forget that negative piece. 70 minus 75 is, um, is going to be negative. So you want to make sure that you don't um, disregard that. So this number here is going to be negative 0 0.5. So we're going to have to look that up in the table. But since we're in the mode of calculating, let's go ahead and do the other one. We actually already calculated the z-score for 80, um, but we're going to go ahead and calculate it again. I apologize for the messy handwriting. I'm not quite sure how to fix that, but I will figure it out for future posts. All right, so we have 80 minus 75 divided by 10, which is going to be 5 divided by 10 which is going to be 0 0.5. So now we have two z-scores, and we're going to have to look them both up. Why don't we go over to the table and see if we can orient ourselves as to what we need to look up. So now that we're here, now you want to think about our picture. Were we looking at something where we were trying to find our score to the very end of the distribution? Or were we trying to find the score from our score to the middle? And actually, we were trying to do this column B. So this is going to be our first time when we're using column B. You could have used column A and worked backwards. But since B is given to us, we should go ahead and use it. So let's go ahead and find a 0 0.50 on the Z table. We find the Z score of 0 0.50. And I find 0.1915, or 19.15%. Now let's find the negative 0.5. Remember, the negative 0.5 is going to be in the same spot. I tried to trick you, but it didn't. hopefully you didn't fall for it. So the negative 0.5 is also going to have a score of 1915. So let's go ahead and um, plug that into our picture. So if I have, uh, I'll put it in blue. If I have the answer as 1915, actually I'm going to redraw because I kind of got messy over there. I don't like that. So I have... 65 to 75, oh wait, no, it was 70, sorry, let me just do that again. We went 70 to 75 to 80. I know this piece is 1915, and this piece is 1915. And since I know that both those pieces are 1915, then I know the total answer is the two combined. So now we know that the total answer is 
0.30%. And that's the percent of scores or the percent of people who drive between 70 and 80 miles per hour.